Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan and welcome to my review of the Moxie Life 2024 Planner. I wanted you to see the box that my shipment arrived in. It's a nice box that's actually reversible. Um, the inside of the box is not really decorative, but it does have some messages on it. So if you do want to continue to use the box or store your planner in it later, you could reverse it but it comes with an even better box on the inside. So what I have over here is my 2023 Moxie Life. We're gonna compare a few things to that, but I just wanted you to see the packaging first of all, and let's dig in. I have removed some of the plastic wrap to make this process a little bit smoother. But on the inside of the box, it says, building inner wealth is our definition of success. Who you become in the process of working towards your goals is as important, if not more than, crossing the finish lines of achievement. And that is a quote from Sierra, a friend who is the founder of Moxie Life. So this is a sort of a guide that will also come on an insert in your box when you order a planner that tells you step one, step two, step three, how to connect with the Moxie Life community or the Moxie fam. If you spend $100 on your order, you will get a free 2023 Reflections Journal. So they started this last year and it was very popular. 2023 Year End Reflections Notebook. So what it will have in it is like your, this is the Moxie Life Compass Assessment here. And it will be kind of your final assessment for 2023 and wins, highlights, challenges, lessons, and these pages are lined, growth, gratitude, what's working, what's not working, impact. In other words, how do I want people to experience me? In what ways do I want to create an impact in the lives of my loved ones or the world at large? adjustments, like what do you want to modify in 2024, and reflections, three words to describe 2023, lots of other prompts, and a letter to me. So this is really neat. This is a letter that you write to yourself, and it's intended for you to write it and save it to read at the end of 2024. Use these pages to brain dump more reflections from 2023 and notes for 2024. And then you get the back cover. This is a nice, thick cover. So this is your 2023 reflections, which is a free gift if you spend $100 on your order. I have two because I placed two different orders as an affiliate. That's how I was able to get these things ahead of launch. The launch is going to be on September 28th, by the way. Embrace the messy bits. So one of these stickers came with each of my orders. And then I ordered some washi tape. We're gonna get to the washi tape after we get to the main event, which is the planner. But I wanted you to see the packaging and also the inner box that your planner comes in. Moxie Life has one of the best boxes out there for planners and it is so well constructed it's thick and it's meant to be a box that you don't throw away this can either be a storage box for memorabilia notes cards you receive or it can actually just be the storage box that you house your planner in once it's completed so hang on to this box it is such a great box and it's kind of got this moxie life pinstripe look on the outside the moxie life compass there so there are eight choices of moxie life covers that you can get this year and i'm showing you the one that i picked and it didn't take me long to decide i love this one it's called moxie m-o-x-i-e as opposed to the way the brand spells moxie and there are a few things I want you to notice right off the bat, especially if you have used Moxie Life in the past. First is the coil change. So now you've got this really substantial, nice coil instead of O-rings. So let's compare. Here is the O-ring that the Moxie Life has always come on so far. 
okay? It still has the nice look. The strap, this one does have a strap, but I have it marking my current page. So the size is the same, but this coil is different. It is a coil coil instead of an O-ring coil. And the cover itself is a bit thinner, and that's to make it, I'm sure, more maneuverable around the coil, okay? So depending on the cover that you choose, and I wanna put them up on the screen now so you can see, depending on the cover that you choose, you will have a complimentary end paper on the inside that goes with it beautifully. So there are just so many lovely combinations as well as suggestions for how you might match up your planner with a folio and notebooks and companion notebooks, journals, things like that. So we're gonna go through this first of all, and then I'm going to show you a few accessories that I ordered. When you get on the inside, the first thing that you're gonna notice is that we have a whole new type of ruler than what we had for the O-ring. This one says today on the top, and that today pokes out at the top. So this serves as both a ruler, straight edge, and bookmark. And that should come right at the beginning of your planner. Snaps in easily. Then you have your name page. So it comes in two different layouts, horizontal or vertical, and I ordered horizontal. And I believe there's also going to be a daily planner this year, but I have not seen that yet. And the daily that I have is A5 size and it is undated. This is gonna be all dated. And they are gonna come out with a digital planner as well. So if you wanna do all this in a digital version, you will be able to. Welcome to our Moxie fam. See how they spell Moxie there? As opposed to M-O-X-I-E. And I'm not going to go into everything that it says here, but all this stuff is so good, especially if you are new to Moxie Life and you haven't taken the Compass Assessment before. So I love data. I've always loved data, especially like about myself. So I guess that's a little bit self-centered, huh? But I just find it very interesting to kind of do assessments on my life and see how I'm doing according to a standard or according to like questions and ways to really dig deep and discover things about yourself that you might not actually have realized. So this is what the life compass looks like. And you're going to be filling out this life compass four times a year. And I suppose you could do it more if you wanted to. You can get this life compass as a free download on the Moxie Life website, which I think is great. And you could actually use that life compass with the planner that you already use. But in the planner, this is worked in and you have your assessment scoring. So basically, in a nutshell, what you have are eight areas of life, personal, fun and recreation, work and learning, family and relationships, health and wellness, spiritual and personal growth, financial and physical environment. Each of these is represented by a color and a piece of this pie on the life compass. So you are going to score yourself here and come up with, from answering several questions in each category, a number, and then you're gonna shade it in so that you see a visual of how you're doing in these eight different areas of life. That helps you to decide if you want to focus more on a certain area than on another in order to kind of bring it up and improve it. Here's your intentions page. What could I use more of in my life this year? What could I use less of in my life this year? You choose a word for the year down here. That's always a little bit tricky for me, but lately I've been thinking I want my word to be finisher. I have so many open project, projects and I want to be a finisher. <laughs> Instead of having so many things open, so many tabs open in my brain. And then setting goals, you get lots of super helpful information on how to set goals, right down to how to articulate those, how to word them so that they're not too far reaching and kind of impossible to reach. Three types of goals, stretch goals, which are big, progress goals and maintenance goals. So you're going to discover which sorts of goals that might be best for you and how to kind of not overload yourself with too many of the huge goals, but to balance things out with smaller goals. 
So you'll have annual goals that help you create a long-term vision, monthly goals that help you break the annual goals down, and weekly actions, which are basically tasks and habits that help you achieve the monthly goals. So in turn, you know, we're starting small here on a weekly basis and building up with our actions and habits to reach the monthly goals, which in turn help us to reach our annual goals. But at the outset, we go the other way. We start big. What do we really want in life? What do we want to see um, in terms of growth in our life over the next year? And then we break it down and get smaller. So um, it's very interesting, very helpful. And then you get lots of help and considering things for each of these eight areas of life. So underneath personal, you get so many ideas for what to consider. Examples of what might be personal goals, work and learning, health and wellness, financial, all these different categories. Then you use this space to create like a mind map of ideas, dreams, and goals. I don't usually do mind mapping, but I've seen some fabulous mind maps online. There are a lot of people who, who just are great at doing diagrams. I have not really pursued that. It would probably be helpful if I did, but I haven't. Here's where we're going to put some annual goals. We're going to dream big in this section. So it's broken down into those eight areas of life. Then your vision board, which I have done several vision boards before, this is a place for you to just have fun and find images of things that reflect what your hopes and aspirations are for the coming year. Things that motivate you and inspire you. Goal setting quick tips. How great is this? If you're really stuck having a hard time setting goals, here are some quick tips for you. And then you go into the first month. So it's a calendar year planner, January through December. The monthly spreads are Sunday start. And each month will have an inspirational quote up at the top. And you'll get the following month in a mini calendar at the bottom of the right-hand side underneath a sidebar of notes. And then you'll get your monthly goals. So we're taking those annual goals that we set a few pages ago breaking them down, dividing them by 12. You might think of it that way. And you can choose like a singular focus for each one of these areas. You could also choose a singular area to focus on for that month. You don't really have to fill all of this stuff up all the time, especially if your main thing is a financial goal. If you're trying to get out of debt, if this is where you're really focusing, you might fill this up with way more stuff than you will these others. It just depends on where you are in your life. Then every week you're gonna get this dot grid page that invites you to reflect on what worked and didn't work in the previous week. And you'll always get a tip of the week down at the bottom of this dot grid page. These are fantastic. In fact, once you place an order with Moxie Life, you are added to the mailing list, and I suggest that you stay on that mailing list because you'll get these weekly tips in your email as well. Here's where we take the monthly plans and we break them down into weekly actions, and they're still that same color-coded scheme. All right, so the horizontal layout looks like this. It's lined for the most part, and then you get a plain box with nothing in it at the end of each page. I love the habit tracker that's built in here. You have space for about seven or eight habits, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven habits with Monday through Sunday there. A little note section here. Now I'm gonna show you how I use this planner. I've modified how I use it and I'll explain why when I show you my last year's planner. And then the end of the week begins the whole process again. So you get a brand new tip, a brand new page to reflect on what did or did not work and a new page to list weekly actions and habits that you're hoping to implement. So all of your weeks will look like that. When you get to February, the color is a little different, but there's not much color at all. You just get a little faint hint of color. March looks like this green. So January was blue, by the way. I don't know if you saw that. And then February was kind of reddish pink. This is green. And then April looks gray. And we're getting a different quote each month. May is kind of golden or mustard. June is like a teal. July is blue. This is purple. 
August. September is gray. October is coral. I wouldn't call it orange, but it does lean toward orange. So I would call it coral. And then November is teal or aqua. And then December is red. Perfect. And then in the back, you get, it says extras here on the tab. And after the tab that says extras, you get 2024 on one page. I love how each month is a different color. And then 2025 on one page with space for important dates at the bottom. There are lines down here for the important dates. And then you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine notes pages, counting the front and the back. A pocket here that is sort of a reinforced heavy cardstock and it has that same lined look that the box had then one sheet of stickers these all correlate to those eight areas of life colors and then another pocket here but it's like an accordion fold which would make it expandable so you can fit this 2023 reflections book into here no problem and save it because it's going to have that letter to yourself and to your future self and then you get to the end and it has an elastic strap which can keep your book closed or if you use it the way I do sometimes I actually just like find the page that I'm on and I mark it like that but you don't have to do that because it does come with a bookmark. It comes with this right here. So you don't have to do that. You could just keep it closed, but that's the way that would look. So this is gorgeous. The eight cover designs are all just beautiful. My second favorite was the one called Radiant, which is another floral by the same artist, but it's all green. But I just was drawn more to these pinks. And the background is sort of a mint green and a blush there's gold here this is absolutely beautiful like they really put thought into what should go with what the end papers the the background color for the brand here that's going to be different on all the different planners they really put a lot of thought into this so here's why I'm so excited to use this for 2024. I like to write out a memory verse every single day. And I was using an Erin Condren Compact Vertical for that purpose up until it ran out. Then I switched over to my Moxie Life. So I am using this actually to practice writing my memory verse each day and to put notes about that memory verse down here. And then I'm also doing the weekly actions, but I don't want to go, I don't want to show my weekly actions because some of that is private information. But here is another week with a different memory verse. I use the built-in habit tracker to give myself a check mark for each time that I say the verse aloud during the week. And I'm just skipping the weekly actions and stuff because some of that is, it involves like people's names and stuff. And then here's another week. And this was when I was starting to use washi tape to just sort of decorate it. Some monthly goals back here. I don't think any of that is super private, but I set my monthly goals. I used the monthly spread to write out what the verses were. So it's not a typical use for a monthly calendar, but for my purposes, it's perfect. And the wonderful thing is that this paper is so luxurious to write on. Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's 80 pound paper, I'm pretty sure. It's smoother than Erin Condren paper, which has a tooth to it. This is smoother and it just feels amazing to write on. It feels amazing to write on. And so this is how I've been using it. But it also had, previously we had a set of bookmarks that you could buy um, and add on to the product. So it didn't come with the planner. Monthly goals, my vision, and this week. So I think now you can get a set of these that are designed to fit the new coil. It won't come with your planner, just the today one will come with your planner because you have all these different aspects of the planner that you might want to mark. 
and not just one page. So this would be an add-on that you could get. The difference in thickness on the cover is, let's see if we can hold them up together. It's thicker. So this one is very difficult to bend at all. In fact, I can't bend it, the one on the left, last year's. This one has a little give to it, but it is still a hard cover and it has feels like it's coated with something that would make it easy to wipe off. It feels very similar to last year's covers, although it's not like waterproof, I think it would be water resistant. And comparing this, they always just take such care to really make things coordinate with each other. And I just, I love that. Okay, so let's go on to some of the accessories that I have. I ordered two sets of washi tape. So this is a new thing. This one goes with the cover that's called Radiant, that, which was my second choice cover. This one goes with Moxie. So you've got the outer cover here and you have the end paper look right there. And I think that's probably the case with this as well. So this would be the green on the outside of the planner and this gold design on the inside. So let's open it up and test it. Here are swatches of the Moxie Floral set. Isn't that pretty? Right here. Here's the Radiant set. Looks like this. But hang on, where do you see this? They have this brand new set of washi tape, 16 pieces on a storage ring. It comes presented in this really nice box. And where do you see how it is set up on the inside? There's a nice thick piece of vellum on top. And then are you ready? Is that amazing? So you just pull this out and all of the washi tape is skinny and solid color and it comes on this ring. So you can just open the ring. If you go to the opposite side of that larger little area, you open the ring like that and then you can remove the tape. Isn't that cool? So what I can do with my additional washi tapes from Moxie Life is just put them on here. And I have all of my Moxie Life washi tapes together. Isn't that awesome? I think this is a great new product. You can remove this thing, although it looked so cool in here. I almost hate to not leave it like that. Um, it just looked really cool, but it's not practical to put that in back in every single time. And you could easily just set it in like this. Moxie Life also has these great highlighters that match the eight areas of life. You could store that in here. Let me grab mine. So it looks like this, the perfect match. You could put that in here. But I don't think this would fit if I did. Yes, it will. That will fit. See if it will close. Yes, it will. Well, it's a little lopsided on the side where this is. So that's a little tall, but it'll fit. And if you want to put this underneath or have two little trays on your desk, these are nice thick boxes. So these could just be like organizers on your desk. Isn't that cool? So we need to swatch all of these, don't we? We need to see the 16 solid colors. And let's go ahead and put one of these Embrace the Messy Bits stickers on here. Maybe we'll put it underneath the floral and ahead of the solid colors. Let's go ahead and swatch these and we'll do that very quickly. Great. And I noticed that the width of these tapes is perfect to fit in the lines on the notes pages. It's absolutely perfect. So I sort of spread them out a little bit, but they, they fit exactly right in these lines. 
and there are so many colors. They all came off of the roll very easily. Once I got it started, they came off with no rips or anything. It was, it was terrific. So I highly recommend this, not just because of how cool the tapes are, but also for the storage ring, because you can add to this other tapes in your collection and take them with you, put them in your planner bag, and just have them on the go. It's fantastic. All right, so while I'm at it, let me go ahead, for those of you who might be new to Moxie Life, and show you the colors of these markers. These are the moxie colors and they correspond to the eight areas of life that you're working on in this planner. I also used a straight edge that was the moxie life ruler. This has a handy little bookmark aspect to it where you can just hook it onto the top of a page or if you wanted to see that moxie life on the page you would tuck it from behind and of course it is quite clearly a stencil as well. So this is a great add-on product to add to your collection. So look how well these colors go with these over here. So I, I'm not exactly sure how these correspond to the eight areas of life. Ah, I figured it out. So I took this darker green that I put on the bottom and put it up here because I realized these are the eight colors. They're just in a darker and lighter hue. So you've got two for financial, two for physical environment, two for personal, fun and recreation, work and learning, relationships, health and wellness, and spiritual and personal growth. Those are the eight colors. It's just that you get two of each one, a lighter and a darker version of it. So that's very cool. So these are just some of the accessories that you'll be able to get. There is an additional set of decorative washi tape that goes with the shine pattern. There are the Snap-In Rulers set of three. Of course, the Moxie Markers. There are Post-It Notes. Forgot the Post-It Notes. So I don't have these, but there are Sticky Notes. I don't know if they're Post-It brand, so I should have just said Sticky Notes, but those also correspond to all of these Moxie colors, and they come in a nice booklet, and I have seen another affiliate put her sticky note booklets inside of this washi tape storage box and they do fit well. So if you like sticky notes, that's something to keep your eye out for. So now let's go on to the folios. This is one of last year's folios. This is not one of this year's, but it is very similar. So I'm going to use it to explain what they offer. The cool thing is that this year they've come out with so many colors of folios that you could actually create an ensemble of things that go together. So if you choose the Moxie Floral like this, there is sort of a raspberry folio that would look so nice with this. All different types of colors. There's also either a snap closure or just um, some hardware right here in this year's folio. So let me just show you last year's to get a general idea of what these are for. Although keep in mind, this is not the version that we have this year. So this one was a magnetic closure. I don't know about the current one. Um, but what you can do is add a set of notebooks or if you already have another planner but you want the goal setting system that Moxie Life has, you can add the companion notebooks to this. So the companion notebooks I think are going to come in two different color sets. So there are four, one for each quarter of the year, and I think you'll have a choice of a stack of one set of four colors and a different four colors, so you can choose. But this was last year's Daily Intentions Notebook, and just look at the pretty color and the silver fo foiling. And everything that Moxie Life puts out is just very high quality. And so this was a daily intentions thing that I didn't fully use. I just used a few pages in the beginning. Um, but, I mean, it's because I have so many planners to review and to use. But they are so nice. And this was for gratitude in the evening. And I used that just for, you know, two or three days. 
as well, but it's undated so I can continue to use it. And it comes with four elastic straps in it. So what I've done is put three books in it. This is just a plain journal from another brand, but there is a fourth elastic strap. So any A5 sort of soft bound book would fit beautifully in this. And you can get just the perfect one to go with what other planner that you use. So if you're going to get one of the Moxie Life planners that has the goal setting system in it, I'm guessing that you're not going to get the companion notebooks because everything that's in the companion notebooks is already in this. It's just minus the planner aspect of it. It's just the goal setting component. So what you would probably do if you wanted to put together a whole ensemble is buy some journals. So I think there are dot grid journals, possibly some other styles of journals that you can get in coordinating colors and for various uses and put them in your matching folio. So I don't think these look bad together. This was last year's that was I think called Storm and I'm going to put up on the screen some of the colors that you will be able to get this year so you can start planning ahead for when the planners launch on the 28th and get your shopping list ready. And remember that once you hit the $100 threshold, you'll be able to get the free 2023 Reflections notebook, which is a wonderful thing that includes the letter that you're going to write to your future self and read a year from now. These are just gorgeous, high quality products. I hope you have enjoyed this brief tour of some of the products. Not all at all. There are so many more that are launching for Moxie Life's 2024 collection. And my personal choice was the Moxie Floral, but there are seven others to choose from. I think there's something for everyone. There's even a solid color. So if you're not into patterns, then there's a solid for you. If you're not into florals, there are plenty of other options for you as well. Accessories that you can use along with your Moxie Life or with any planner actually. And these aren't even all of the accessories they're just some and the reflections journal that is your free gift if you spend $100 and folios notebooks so much to look at and I will have my affiliate link down in the video description if you have any questions I will be so happy to get the answers for you if I don't already know and I thank you for watching I'll see you again next time bye bye